Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And it is general, so of course it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs if that is the case. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. <laughs> also, if you would like a personal reading, please make sure you read um, the description box to see the options. And of course, if you have any questions, you can email me. All right, let's see what is going on with Leo. What is the overall energy for mid-April? Oh, okay, we have separation and we have mute. All right, so I feel like, yeah, you know, there is definitely distance between the two of you. It could be that there has been a separation recently, or maybe you're just, you've been in separation. Um, and I feel like um, there's not much communication either, all right? Or somebody is at least <clears throat> not talking much, all right? If there is communication, I feel like it's limited or somebody is really um, keeping certain things to themselves. Let's get into it and see. So we're going to be looking um, at your energy and their energy separately as well as what is coming up. Right, so Leo, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-April. So let's see, for your energy, we have the Three of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Interesting, because this is <clears throat> already feeling a little similar to Aries. Um, I feel like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for something here. Um, I feel like you're looking into the future, like, and you are waiting to see what might happen. Uh, but I feel like you're not really expecting much. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself. You have your guard up. And I feel like you're doing that in order to um, keep yourself from being disappointed, possibly. <clears throat> and it could be that you feel like you might be healing in this way, you know, that it makes you feel a little bit more peaceful. It makes you feel a little bit more relaxed if you just, you know, try to... Um, Keep yourself guarded, but I feel like you're, you're, you're still kind of waiting to see what's going to happen in the future. So I feel like you're still um, open to this. So for them, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> and Strength. Okay, look at you showing up twice in their energy here. So there's definitely something here... Um, about this person wanting to bring things into balance. It could be that one of you um, just wasn't really giving much to this connection. I feel like it's it's this person who was possibly just giving you very little. However, it does feel like you're, you're heavily on this person's mind. We'll see more when we clarify. Let me see what is um, <clears throat> coming up. We have the Two of Pentacles, the King of Wands, right under the Queen of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. All right, okay, so definitely there's a shift coming up. And an extra message for you here is the world. I feel like a cycle is ending. Um, some chapter in all of this is concluding, which does mean that another one can open, but we'll see. Um, if it is with this person or if it is ending. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And keep in mind, I mean, these readings are meant to be just what is currently happening and in the um, near future. So definitely more distant future can be something completely um, different. All right. So let me see the three of wands. <clears throat> The 
the Devil, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So some of you might definitely be dealing with an Aries. This is very, um, it's just similar cards coming through here at the top. Yet yeah, you're waiting for this connection. You're waiting to see where it can go, where it can lead, if things can be worked out. But I feel like with the devil being here, there's, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear that you're holding on to concerning whether this can actually come to be. Whether this person is willing to put in the work and meet you halfway, whether um, you can find that stability with this person again. And the reason why I say again is because I feel like um, for most of you at least, it's that you have been together at some point in the past. For some of you, maybe even married, all right, with the Four of Wands. Um, <clears throat> and that there has been a separation. I feel like there's a lot of fear attached to this waiting, and that might be something that is um, possibly just keeping you back from this healing. Let me see the Seven of Wands. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with an Aries, though. Let's see, Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Alright, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. You're definitely feeling the pain here. And I feel like that's that's the thing. I feel like you're trying to really protect yourself um, from that pain because it's like you it's just really hard to accept that something might be that something might be over. And of course, you know, it's difficult if there was a situation where there was such a strong bond, right? Like I see here in that four of wands. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely something that is very, very difficult for you to do to to try to move on from this. And so I feel like you know, there's a sense of you not wanting to let this go because it's just so painful to feel like, you know, this is done for good. And so, but by doing that, I feel like there's something here that you are, it's like you're protecting yourself and not allowing yourself to really feel what you are feeling here. And I feel like this actually makes it more difficult for you in the long run. Um, it doesn't mean that you're never getting back with this person. I, I'm just seeing that you know, at the moment though, it is what it is, you know, and yeah, you might really be feeling that pain, but what are, what are you also doing to try to, to protect yourself? Um, <clears throat> let me see the four of swords and whatever that is that you're doing to try to protect yourself. Like I said, I feel like that's actually making things a little more difficult. All right, so for the four of swords, we have the seven of wands showing up again. See, it's like you're blocking your own healing in some way. Um, the Empress, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. This is you holding on to the past. To the past of this connection, but in a way where it's making you feel really, really um, depressed, maybe. Um, feeling a lot of grief for the situation. And I, what I'm getting is that you're, you're, you're putting so much energy into whether this can come back and in, in waiting. And that's blocking your healing. That's what's keeping you in this state. And it's like you're doing that. Because in that way, you're protecting yourself from believing that this is done. Um, you might have a fear of it being done, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you, you know, have come to terms with it. And that can take time. I mean, that can take time. No one's saying that, you know, that you should have already, you know, done this. This is just the energy that's coming through, um, showing what your state is and what the message is. Which again, it can take time to, you know, allow yourself to feel what it is and put your guard down when it comes to your own healing. Even if this person ends up coming back, you know, this might still be something that that is meant for you to, to process in order for your soul to grow. Let's 
see them. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. All right, we have the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like for the most part, for most of you, this, um, it's this person who has walked away from the connection. Um, and I feel like they walked away from, from what they truly wanted, all right, with that Nine of Cups. And there's something about it here. I feel like there was some kind of, there was something that was out of balance, something that was uneven. It could be that, you know, they, for example, maybe they weren't giving you enough, right? There wasn't an even um, reciprocity here. And that could have caused them to not feel so good about themselves. And so they walked away from something that, you know, deep down though, they truly wanted. Something that would truly make them happy. Because I do see them wanting, wanting this connection with you. But at the same time, I see them also, you know, having walked away or emotionally detached in some way, or at least trying to. Um, for some of you, this could be this could be an earth sign, um, possibly. You are heavily on their mind, though, right now, right? Okay? With that Queen of Wands and that Strength card. Let's see, Queen of Wands. All right, we have the Hierophant, so definitely, you know, getting North Sign again, this could be a Taurus for some of you. Um, the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there's definitely a lot of emotions here. All right, this person also, I feel, feels the strength of your connection just like you did, all right, with that Four of, with that four of Wands that you had in your energy. They have the Hierophant here attached to you, okay? So they definitely feel like this is a very strong um, connection between the two of you. And then with the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups, this is a, just a lot of emotions. I feel like emotionally, yeah, they're definitely feeling this a lot. Um, I feel like they do also hold you in a very high high regard, um, possibly feeling like, you know, they're, they've are they learned f from you. Um, almost like they feel intuitively also that there is something here that is just very, very strong. Let me see strength. The King of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and I think that we have one more. Yep, the Ten of Pentacles. There you're showing up again. Um, you are you are so heavily on their minds, it's not even funny, but the thought of you, the way that they're thinking about you, is also coming along with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, possibly a lot of fear. Um, I feel like actually there's a fear here of this commitment. Um, it's like they feel the strength of that bond, but there's still this anxiety about, about being 100% together. I'm getting marriage very strongly here for some reason um, with the way that these cards are playing out. So for some of you, maybe, like I said, maybe you were married, maybe you are married, maybe somebody is married. And it could be that, you know, if, let's say for example, if they're married, I feel like that is causing them a lot of stress because they think about you, but then they all, they have that situation going on too. And it's kind of like, you know, um, Leo is on my mind. And I feel like they're just really going through a tough time right now. So let's see what is coming up. The Two of Pentacles for the near future. Because I feel like there's a little bit of um, a back and forth here, a little bit of trying to decide something, trying to balance something out. And I feel like what's trying to be balanced out is this energy of that uneven reciprocity, you know, the fact that, you know, this person I feel might, <clears throat> might have been giving their energy, more of their energy somewhere else rather than to this connection. And this would especially be true if there is another relationship here involved for them, which I kind of thought that when I saw this Queen of Pentacles, but 
Um, now I'm feeling it a little bit stronger. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but for, for those of you where this person is involved in another commitment, I do feel like they were, you know, obviously giving more of their energy to that, which was actually going against what they would really want. Um, and I feel like like there is this struggle to kind of bring things back into balance here. So clarifying the two of pentacles, we have the sun and the high priestess. So yeah, somebody is having a hard time here coming up to balance out, to find that balance um, of what it is that truly makes them happy. I mean, <laughs> there you are showing up again. You're all over this reading. I mean, it is your reading, but you're all over their energy as well. And the High Priestess, you know, really being able to see that intuitively. Feeling intuitively that, you know, this is where my happiness is. Um, and that is my truth. But I feel like they're having a little bit of a hard time really um, accepting that fully. But I do see things shifting regardless here with that, with that Wheel of Fortune here at the end. But let me see the King of Wands. All right, so this is you. This is you here as this King of Wands. There's that Four of Swords again. And the world, again. All right, we had the Four of Swords in your energy here, and then we have the world as the final message for you. So I feel like, yeah, you know, I mean, whatever the situation here is with this person and whether they're coming back or not, I see you being all over the place, all right, in their energy. You are all over the place. Haven't clarified the Wheel of Fortune yet, but this is definitely talking about a shift. So it's definitely possible that this is all going to shift for for the better. But I feel like, I mean, this is a very strong message for you here. This is what's coming up for you, but also take it as encouragement because it's show, it was showing up in the very beginning as well. Um, you know, that part of your healing is related to allowing a chapter to close out. whether this is the final end or not, all right, with this person in this separation. I feel like, again, this is something that needs to be um, accepted or dealt with. You know, I mean, it is, it is what it is. And healing from this is exactly what might open the door either to something else that's going to be um, more in alignment with you or even to a reconnection with this person. Because like I said, you are all over their energy here. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. The Magician and the Seven of Swords. So, <clears throat> because I, I see it, or again, worlds can be reversed, but I see it as your person who has been in the Seven of Swords energy, right? They're the ones who have walked away from this connection in one way or another. All right. Um, I feel like they're, you know, there's, they're the ones who had manifested this whole situation in the way it has turned out for the most part. All right. What I see happening though is that being shifted. This, this creating of a, this distance, right? This separation, whatever it is, even if it's another relationship. Okay, whatever it is, I feel like, you know, that was manifested by specific actions, by specific choices. That is about to shift. And I don't, I don't, let me get one more. And again, having another Aries um, showing up here. So again, and then the Hermit, okay, so Virgo. So very strong um, Aries and just earth signs overall showing up in this reading does again doesn't have to be but that's just what I'm getting here um, There's going to be a lot of inner thinking and inner soul searching that is happening here So I feel like I mean, I'm not necessarily seeing a reconciliation. All right um, What I am seeing though is a shift definitely a shift when it comes to somebody escaping and avoiding the situation. And I feel like that's them. 
Um, for you, I, I feel like, yeah, you know, what's coming up is this healing and just really being able to find some sort of a completion, some kind of a closure when it comes to this, to this connection. And that is also going to bring with it um, a lot of inner thinking, especially for your person. All right, a lot of going within and really being able to um, understand one's own self. So there might still be a little bit of distance here, but I feel like it will be for, for a good cause. Let's see the world. Wow, temperance and the wheel of fortune again. All right, I mean, the message couldn't be any more clear than this, all right? Allowing a chapter to end, just accepting that, right, with temperance, allowing that to end and healing it, that is what is going to turn the wheel in a different direction. That is what is just going to change the whole thing, the whole situation for the better. And it doesn't matter, is what I'm getting here at the moment, if it's with this person or not. Um, there can definitely be a shift for the better and that's going to come once you allow yourself to heal all right leo if this resonated let's get your final oracle message and let's see and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if it did resonate We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So it's like spirit was saving that till the very end. Why? Because I feel like it was, you know, really meant to be stressed here that this healing for you really needs to take place. All right. A closure needs to take place. And then after that, there, you know, this reconciliation is definitely, um, a strong potential, whether it is with this person or someone else from your past. So yeah, there you go, Leo. That was your reading. I hope it made sense. Um, much love.